Within the last two hours, President Biden wrapped up a meeting with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy to discuss raising the debt ceiling. The government will soon run out of money to pay its bills and possibly dive into a recession if no deal is reached. Reporter Nicole Skanga has the very latest from Washington. With the clock ticking, President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy returned to tense negotiations about raising the nation's debt ceiling. We both talked about the need for a bipartisan agreement. Have to be in a position where we can sell it to our constituents. Sources tell CBS News the White House is now offering to keep spending flat from this year to next. Republicans, they say, want to increase defense spending while cutting everything else by up to 22 percent. I think we could we can get a deal tonight, we get a deal tomorrow, but you've got to get something done this week to be able to pass it and move it to the Senate. You... Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has indicated early June remains a hard deadline, or the U.S risks defaulting on its debts. I'm willing to cut spending, and I propose cuts in spending of over a trillion dollars. President Biden cut his trip to Japan short on Sunday night to attend the debt ceiling talks, which lawmakers on Capitol Hill say have reached a sensitive point. I think people are of goodwill. I don't think there's any interest in us delaying these tough conversations. And so, um, we want this to be productive. Economists warn that default could put millions of Americans out of work and push the country into a recession. Social security checks could be delayed and the nation's credit rating could be lowered. And the Treasury Department says a default could mean missed payments for veterans benefits, federal worker pay and even tax refunds.